I got a uh, Yamaha RN803 in from a system integrator friend of mine that uh, he was having some issues trying to update the firmware and he pulled his hair out and couldn't get it and asked for a hand. So let's see what we can do. This time I've got a Yamaha uh, network receiver and uh, the client that owns it was trying to update the operating firmware and was having trouble. So they brought it to me and asked if I could uh, try to get their software to update. I've downloaded the latest version of the bin file for the most recent software. And the process to do this, apparently this failed, but we'll try. I'm going to plug the USB in. And uh, we're going to hold down the power while holding down return. So there'll be a button on here that's marked return. We're going to hold down return and press the power button. And it should, advanced setup should show up on the screen. So power, advanced setup. We're going to turn the selector knob until we get it's got version 1.08 on here now we're going to turn the knob until it says update update by USB and then I'm going to push display from the USB update USB as opposed to update network and it'll start to update and it should say update successful if it works now the owner or actually not the owner of the receiver but the system integrator fellow that does his work for him has already tried this and he said it failed so I'm going to try it and see whether it will succeed for me if not we'll try it from network and then I'll pull out the USB stick and turn the power on and see whether it has updated and I want to uh, turn it on while pressing the the, uh, the return key to see what versions on here so the return key and power on and we'll see what version is on here now now version 1.08 so it did not it did not update the firmware interesting and the firmware is stored in the root folder so we'll try this one more time and see what happens so power off return and power advanced setup version 1.08 we'll try updating from the network if this doesn't work but we're going to uh, turn this to say update USB and then we're going to press the display button and the light on the back of the USB stick is flashing No update successful message. Watch for the version number here. Still it's version 1.08. So we'll try network. I've got it, I've got it connected to an Ethernet cable. So we're gonna go update network and then hit the display button. And it should be updating from the network and we'll see whether it's able to update from my internet connection well i left this thing sit for like half an hour and it's still sitting at version 1.08 i don't know what's going on with this to download the software we're going to navigate to yamaha's uh, support page go into support and i've entered the model number of the unit that we need to get the software for and I'm just going to go down and click on, I've already checked, yes I agree, we're going to grab the software and we're going to save it. So once it's saved, we're going to unzip it over to the uh, USB stick and then we can install it onto the receiver. So this is a fresh copy that uh, I'm downloading now because uh, the uh, copy that was delivered to me with the unit just won't install. So we're going to try a fresh copy. So I've downloaded the file, we're going to click on the file now and this will show us what is in the file. It's the R4450300 bin. So I'm going to right click on the file and I'm going to uh, open it with 7-zip and I'm going to extract the files. So I click on extract files and I just want to save it to my USB stick which is going to be this one here and click OK 
and extract it. So now it's extracting the file over to the USB stick. I should add it in a fresh format of this USB stick before proceeding. When it extracts, it creates a folder. It creates the bin file. It also created a folder with the bin file in it. We need to delete this folder because with this second folder, the receiver will not take the update. That was basically the error that the system integrator guy was uh, making is that there was a second folder on here which had it because this is the files like this is what the files had when I got the stick from we need to delete that so that just the bin file and nothing else is on the USB stick and then it should work so let's go and try it I just downloaded another fresh copy we'll try one more time Okay, this time it said USB update. Verifying. Yes, one dash one. It's, it's now updating. Man, this was a tough one to get this stupid thing to update. And I think I found out the reason why it wasn't updating. When the file unzipped, it put the bin file in the root directory, but the software also unzipped a subfolder with the same name as the bin file and a copy of the bin file in that subfolder. I went and deleted that bin file. So the only file that's on this memory uh, stick is the, the bin file not the other stuff that was unzipped along with it when it created the uh, file. I, I downloaded it to my hard drive, clicked on open the file, and then I unzipped it, and I unzipped it to the USB drive, but it created a, an empty folder. And it looks, at, looks like that was what was preventing it from working. So once this finishes the process, it should say update complete. There we go, it's flashing now it looks like. Okay, now it's erasing. I watch the power go out right now. That would kind of suck. Update successful. Please power off. That's what we want to see. Power off. And if I go in to hit the return and the power, it should give me the current version. It should be 3. There we go. Version 3. Update successful. That's how you do it. Make sure when you download the software onto the USB stick that there is nothing else that has been copied onto it. No folders or anything. It has to be the only file on the USB stick. And that was the error that the owner was making, or actually the systems integrator guy, that was the error he was making. And he couldn't get it to update and he brought it to me. And there we go, updated. But he tried to update over the network as well. He tried to update over Wi-Fi, it would not update. Tried to, up tried to update plugging it into his router, it wouldn't update. So he brought it to me. 
but we got it updated. And the update's required on these, these devices because it fixes a lot of HDMI compatibility problems that some of the newer um, codecs that they're using for encryption are starting to come up with for some of the streaming services such as Amazon Prime and uh, Netflix and stuff. They're, they're constantly tweaking the encryption and the HDMI revision and it causes problems. So they have to update the firmware on the receiver, otherwise you have problems with different devices. So you gotta keep these things current. So there we go, this one's updated. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you later.